What's up everyone out there in YouTube land? Today we're going to check out a brand new pod system. This one coming from UL and it's called, you guessed it, the Crown Pod System. Not the Crown sub ohm tank. They actually took the Crown name and brought it over to a pod system. Presentation box, pretty typical. It's a box, what more can I say? Crack it open, pull out the tray and down inside of there, you're going to get the Crown device. They're going to toss in two pods to get you started and then on the back side, we got the user manual, warranty card, and a little miniature micro USB cable. So the Crown Pod measuring in at 95 millimeters tall, 30 millimeters wide, 18 millimeters thick, constructed of plastic and aluminum alloy, weighing in at 61 grams, available in black, gray, blue, and red. Here's the red one here. Now this is a true pod system, not an all-in-one device because you actually replace the entire pod, not just the coil head. So let's keep that in mind. At the top, we got the pod with the large duckbill style mouthpiece, which is pretty comfortable. Now, to remove the pod, it's held in with a clicking lock system. It doesn't use magnets. All you're going to do is just pop the pod out. Now, they do include two pods inside the kit. You're going to get a direct lung pod, which is a 0.6, and then a mouth to lung pod, which is a 1 ohm. Go ahead and select your pod of choice. And you might have a little plastic on the bottom right here. Make sure you remove it. Now what's cool about filling these, it has a top fill, and what you do to fill it is you push the tip like to the side. It's really weird. It almost feels like you're going to break it, but pop it like that. You got your two fill ports located on the side right there. I, or I think that's a fill port. I'm not sure, but I would just fill it up on the larger port right there. Once you fill it up, pop this back on. Now if you're using a brand new pod, make sure you wait about 5 or 10 minutes before you vape so that way it primes the coil pop this back on and then it just snaps in place which is really cool another neat feature adjustable airflow control there's a little slider right here and this will allow you to close off the airflow for a mouth to lung vape or you can open it wide open for a direct lung vape once you set your airflow drop it in we do have a transparent viewing window on the front right here so you can see your juice level and five clicks will turn it on or off preferably the right side one two three four five LED light here at the bottom. That LED light is going to indicate you the charge status of your battery. When the light's green, battery's between 60 and 100%. When it's blue, it's between 60 and 30. And when it's red, it's below 30 and it's time to charge it. No other features on this one, no adjustable wattage or anything like that, but it is putting out a maximum wattage of 25 watts. On the inside, we got a pretty decent sized battery, a 1250 milliamp hour battery and all your charging is going to be done here at the bottom with the micro USB port. They don't mention if it, if it has two amp charging, so I'm not sure if it has quick charge, but I will say it's a pretty solid feeling device. And how does it compare to the Coco and Caliburn? I'm not sure because we're not doing a comparison